Hello, happy Monday. Okay, so we are still going to be working on division for this week. Um, we will work on division today, Thursday, and then we'll start throwing in some um, word problems on Friday. Um, and then we'll review a little bit next week. And then you guys are going to take a benchmark test um, next week for math. And it doesn't count for your grade. It's just more data for me to know um, how much of these skills we might need to work on a little bit. Okay. All right. So we are going to work on dividing. We're going to work on these um, six questions right here together. So have a piece of paper out, please, and be working with me as I go over them. So we're going to start with the first problem. Um, oops. Okay, so we're going to start with the first problem. Okay, um, so let's, we're going to do these both ways, the regular way and the box way. Okay, so we have 4 into 2 and 48 hundredths. All right, first thing we're going to do is bring up the decimal. How many times will 4 go into 2? It won't, so you put a 0. 0 times 4 is 0, because remember, dirty monkeys smell bad. And we subtract, and that's 2. We bring down the 4. 4 goes into 24. Think about that. It'll go into 24. Oops. 6 times. Put your 6 over the 4. 6 times 4 is 24. And that is 0. Bring down your 8. 4 goes into 8. 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. And you have 0. You have no remainder. And you don't have anything else to bring down. So let's do the box way real quick. Okay. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is to bring up that decimal. Okay. Four cannot go into two. So you put the zero. Four times zero is zero. Now you subtract those and that's going to be two. Bring that up, and that's a 2. 4 goes into 24 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. You subtract that, and that is 0. Take that 0 up, and 4 goes into 8 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8, and that is 0. All right? So just be thinking about the steps. Remember that if you do it the regular way, it's divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and you start all over again. If you were doing the box way, it's all of those steps except for bringing down, you bring up. All right, so let's look at our next problem. So write down B as I'm writing down mine. Remember that if you need to pause, please do so. If I am going too fast, pause me. Okay, I'm going to write down the box way. Now, if you... um. Whatever, you don't have to do both ways now. So, um, like, if you only like to do it the regular way, then only write the problem down the regular way. If you only like the box way, then just write it down um, just once. I'm only doing it both ways because I have several people. It's like split. The, on the quiz that you guys took on Friday, um, it is split between people doing it this way, people doing it that way. So I'll just do them both ways, which is fine. But you don't have to do them both ways, okay? All right, let's, first thing we're gonna do is bring up the decimal, okay? Three will go into one, zero times. Zero times three is zero. You bring, you subtract that one, bring down your nine. Three will go into 19. Six times, six times three is 18. Remember, if you need to, get your multiplication chart out and use that. Okay. Okay. 19 minus 18 is one. Bring down your five. Three goes into 15 five times. Five times three is 15. And that is zero. Okay. Um, 
Now let's work on the other problem. Okay. Same thing. 3 goes into 1 0 times. 0 times 3 is 0, and that is 1. Bring up your 1. 3 goes into 19 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. That is 1. Bring up your 1. 3 goes into 15 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. And that is 0. So your answer is 6 and 5 tenths. Okay. Well, let's look at C. All right, so be writing C down while I'm writing it down. I'm going to go on and do the both ways. So it's done. Okay. All right. Bring up the decimal first thing. Six will, I'm going to go a little quicker on this one because I can look at six and go, okay, I know it's not going to go into one, but six will go into 15 two times. Two times six is 12. 15 minus 12 is three. Bring down your eight. Six will go into 38 six times. Six times six is 36. 38 minus 36 is two. Bring down your four. Six will go into 24 four times. Four times six is 24, and that is zero. I don't have to add another zero. Remember, we did that the other day, but we will go over that again. I mean, you don't have anything else to bring down. So let's look at the, the next way. Six will go into one zero times. Zero times six is zero. And that's a one. Bring that one up. Six will go into 15 Two times, two times six is 12, and that is three. Bring your three up. Six will go into 38, six times. Six times six is 36, and that is two. And then you get two up there. Six goes into 24, four times, four times six is 24. Okay. Now, what I want us to do is I want you to do this next problem by yourself, okay? So, I want you to do D by yourself. Pause the video and do this one by yourself. And then unpause me and then we'll go over it. Evelyn's TV is so loud. All right, so let's go over these. First thing you're going to do is bring up that decimal. Okay, seven goes into three, zero times. Zero times seven is zero. Subtract and you get three. Bring down your six. Seven will go into 36 five times. Five times seven is 35. And that's one. 7 goes into 17 two times. 2 times 7 is 14. 17 minus 14 is 3. Bring down your 5. 3 or 7 goes into 35 five times. 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, did you get that right? 525 thousandths. We'll do it on this side as well, just to see if you can see if you made a mistake, if you didn't get it right. Bring up that three. Seven goes into 36 five times. Five times seven is 35, and that is one. Bring up that one. Seven goes into 17 two times. Two times seven is a 14. 17 minus 14 is a three. I didn't make my box. Well, I don't know why I added on like that, but. I didn't make my box big enough. All right. So the answer was 525 thousands. All right. If you got it right, awesome, awesome. If you got it wrong, just look and see what you did and then go from, and we'll learn from that. Okay. Let's do the same thing with E. So write down E. Okay. 
Okay, pause me and then we will get back together once we are done. Okay, so I hope you paused me and worked it out. And if you're really struggling, it, pause me just to try to work it out. And if you can, that's fine. But just really try. All right. So I'm going to bring up my decimal. Two will go into one. It won't. Zero times two is zero. Bring down my four. Two will go into 14 seven times. Seven times two is 14. And that's zero. You bring down your seven. Two will go into seven uh, three times. Three times two is six. Bring down your six. Two will go into 16 eight times. Eight times two is 16. All right, did you get that correct? 73 and eight tenths. All right, so let's just do this. Um, two will go into 14 seven times. Seven times two is 14. Two will go into seven, six, uh, three times. Three times two is six. And then two will go into 16 eight times. Okay. All right. So you are going to work on, we're not going to worry about that word problem. Um, right now, but we, let me show you what you're doing. So you are going to work on nine problems. Okay. Same thing. You are going to divide them out. Um, remember that if you get a, a remainder, which I don't think this one has remainders, but if you do add a zero to the end. Okay. Um, I think that's it. And then all you have to do is just type here and then type in your answer. Please make sure to work them all out on a piece of paper. Put it in your binder. Just hang on to it after you're done. But just make sure that you put a decimal in the correct place. Okay. All right. Reach out if you need help. Bye.